Uh, we've known for a long time that uh, Donald Trump is not a fan of being criticized by his enemies. It makes them all emotional. But we also have new evidence now that he can't take being criticized by the people taking the time out of their lives to volunteer for him. So here are some uh, excerpts from the, uh, the contract that he makes his volunteers sign, which previously, earlier this year, was simply for people who actually work at his headquarters and things like that of the few that he actually has. Now it involves online volunteers as well. So if you simply sign on online to do phone banking for him, here are some of the things that's required of you. So no disparagement. During the term of your service and at all times thereafter, which literally means until the stars die and the light of the universe goes away, you hereby promise and agree not to demean or disparage publicly everybody remotely related to Donald Trump or any asset of the, the foregoing own or product or service. Uh, and you also, by the way, at the end on this X graphic, have to prevent your employees from doing so, which by the way, you cannot do. You can't stop your employees from harassing or, or, or disparaging talking. him. But the idea that if you do f online phone banking, for the rest of your life, you cannot <laughs> criticize <laughs> Eric <laughs> Trump's Trump wine. Right. <laughs> the rest of your life. And, there, and there's no campaign. This, there, this has no precedent, no equal, yeah. nowhere. I mean, I've... I've, have you volunteered? You must have volunteered. I volunteer in congressional campaigns. Yeah, I know, but every campaign. I dropped by Ed Koch, Paul Wellstone, Mike Dukakis, Jimmy Carter. Mike oh, Dukakis, yes, Paul I actually. Uh, Mike Dukakis, I actually was paid for. It was a job. But never did you have to sign a pledge that a lifetime or even temporary or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. It's, it's unreal the, the way this is. There's another interesting. Uh, so in the definition section, they have uh, confidential information. And look at the way that Donald Trump defines confidential information. Means all information, whether or not embodied in any media, of a private, pr proprietary, or confident, uh, confidential nature, which sort of makes sense, or that Mr. Trump insists remains private or confidential. Uh, now, jump ahead to the next graphic, and you're going to see an idea of how much that encompasses. Assets, investments, revenue, expenses, taxes, by the way, whether there's any actual media. If you find out anything about his taxes, he considers that confidential, so it becomes confidential. Uh, financial statements, almost all of this, by the way, is protecting disparagement against his business dealings. Just like when he was on the Comedy Central roast, he's okay with most sort of criticism. Except but you don't attack his business or his wealth. He can't take that. Uh, it also, by the way, then goes on to personal life, political affairs. It doesn't say personal affairs, but if you can bring up graphic 7B, I assume he probably includes that too, uh, and business affairs, blah, 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 blah. Um, now what's interesting is that these are online volunteers. I'm not even sure, I don't know anything about non-disclosure agreements, I'm not a lawyer, but I don't think in general that for unpaid work you can make people sign the most broad NDAs <laughs> that yeah. stretch until they expire. Why right. would those people want to do? I mean, that's just hey, if those people want to do that, you're a volunteer and you want to do that. Yeah. Again, you're just a moron, right? Go, go, still go. If you want to play in traffic, I guess I can't stop you either. You know, yeah. it's like go ahead. But the, the, I mean, these are loyalty pledges, basically. Right? Yeah, it is a loyalty I mean, pledge. This is very right wingy. Yes, it's very right wingy, and this is very what people say the most right wingy things that people say about Trump. Is that he wants to be a dictator? He wants to be a Führer and have that's, control. Of basically, overthought crime. That's in some who. Cases. Yeah, that's who signed gets people yeah. to sign loyalty pledges. Who's your Donald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so they looked into it. And um, while I don't doubt that other uh, campaigns would probably like to do this sort of thing because nobody likes to be criticized online, especially during election. Uh, as of right now, Hillary Clinton does not have any sort of agreement for online or phone uh, volunteers. Uh, but now that the idea is out there, we'll see if maybe she adopts it.